Joe Biden did not spend the whole year in his basement to come up because he's a big Cardi B fan and sit down with you. He thinks you're an idiot. And, you know, I just am encouraging you to stop proving him right when you say ridiculous things. It is one of the biggest insults. If black Americans are not insulted by the fact that Joe Biden, who has been hiding in his basement, um, you know, for the entire year, made an appearance and came up because he was going to do an interview with Cardi B. Do we, do we have nothing better to offer? And she asked pointedly ridiculous questions. I want lower taxes, but I want universal health care for all. She had no idea what she was doing. And yet both Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden made the time to sit with her because they believe black people are stupid. And black people that thought, yay, that's a win. No, it's not a win. It shows you that they still believe that you are so stupid that they couldn't find many of the uh, amazing intellectual black people that we have in the world to sit down with and ha ask them tough questions. Why wouldn't Joe Biden sit down with me, Cardi B? I have millions of followers and I pay millions in taxes. I have the number one song in this country. I got the number one song in fucking the United Kingdom. I have the number one song in Australia. I got the number one song in New Zealand. I'm, I'm, I'm heard all around the world. So just like I can make people pop their pussy and have a good time and make them feel like a bad bitch. I could also encourage millions of followers to go vote. And this girl can't even go to the beach with her girlfriend today in fucking the Hamptons without getting some, without getting fucking harassed by Trump supporters. My side uses you. You want to call me dumb? I'm not getting pimped out by a white man. And you don't see that. And I don't know what black man broke your heart. I don't know what black woman licked your pussy wrong that you hate your kind so much that you, you talking about Joe Biden be pandering, your fucking president can pander because nobody fucks with him. He was fucking crying because football players don't fuck with him. So what are you talking about? I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep telling my millions of followers to vote until we get your president out of here. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. So first and foremost, Cardi, I watched your story and it sounds very funny. Um, first off, <laughs> I'm saying it's funny because you just it's just ridiculous to me that you even take anything that I said as offensive when I'm telling you the truth. Um, and I think if anything, you're only upset because people are telling you on Twitter that you got dragged because you did get dragged because you are uneducated when it comes to politics. That's first things first. Um, I was not, I'm sure Ben Shapiro was not, we were not meaning to attack you. We're just simply telling the truth, which is the fact that Joe Biden did not spend the whole year in his basement to come up because he's a big Cardi B fan and sit down with you. He thinks you're an idiot. And, you know, I just am encouraging you to stop proving him right when you say ridiculous things like, I had to sit down with Joe Biden because my sister got attacked by a Trump supporter, Santa Claus, making it seem like Trump supporters are homophobic. A little education for you, Cardi B. Uh, Donald J. Trump is the first president that's ever gone into office in support of gay marriage. So, you know, those eight years that your presidential candidate Joe Biden spent um, as a vice president with Obama, they didn't support gay marriage going into office. Obama changed his tune on gay marriage in his um, second term. So the whole idea of Trump being a homophobe is a bit pointedly ridiculous and shows how uneducated you are. Then you came and you were talking about ta raising your taxes when you were on talking to Joe Biden saying that you want your taxes lowered, but at the same time you want universal health care. That's ignorant and stupid. And Joe Biden knows it's ignorant and stupid. Even all the people that want free health care and universal health care acknowledge that tax rates have to be astronomical to be able to support that. So you're talking about a 74% tax rate. You continually keep saying you have a number one song. It means shit. Nobody cares about a song about your wet ass pussy. Excuse my language for my followers. Um, being, num being number one, I have a number one song in the UK. I have a number one song in Australia. I have a number one song in New Zealand. That has nothing to do with black America and whether or not you are helping or hurting. Right now, you are hurting black America.